Both of these devices from Apple are the most sought after and popular in their categories for being a pro device. But today, we're going to find out the moment of truth for both of these devices here of which one you should pick for your needs or that you should pick both for Apple recommends. Just in case you wanted to know, we have here the M3 MacBook Pro with 8GB of RAM and also the M4 8GB iPad Pro. To make this comparison just a fair, easy test, what I've actually done here, I've actually brought the cheapest, most popular configurations for both of these devices. And with that, I've also added the Magic Keyboard for this iPad with the Pencil Pro, will cost $428 more. So for the M3 MacBook Pro, it costs us $1,599 US dollars, and the iPad Pro with those extra accessories comes in at a total of $1,428. And like I said, this is the cheapest configuration what we've got here. So this is why we have the 11 inch iPad Pro instead of say the 13 inch to make this the cheapest sort of fair comparison that we could actually do here today. Now, right up for both these devices, they both run different OSs. We have iPad OS and we have Mac OS. For day to day tasks, and I'm going to do it like this. You can have either of these machines as your primary device, but it does depend on what kind of user you are. But just in comparing the specs here, you know, just on paper here, we have the iPad Pro and one of its main big selling features is this brand new OLED screen, the tandem OLED, what Apple are calling the Ultra Retina XDR display. And I must admit, it is absolutely magical, gorgeous. You can throw all those big buzzwords at it. It is amazing. It has a 1000 nits SDR, so it's super bright too. Whereas the MacBook Pro has a mini LED display, and this is still really good, but it can only display at 600 nits SDR. That's almost half the amount of what the OLED iPad can give us. So they both do have Pro Motion inside of them too, so that does go up to 120 hertz, and it can also go down a fair bit as well. But for ports wise, we have on the iPad just one USB-C port. What is a USB 4 port? What can go up to 40 gigabits per second? But we also have two USB-C ports here on the MacBook Pro. What can also go up to 40 gigabits and there's an SD card and HDMI slot too. For battery life on both of these devices, they are very different as well. You do get 10 hours of battery life inside the iPad Pro, whereas with the MacBook Pro, you actually get 18 hours. And obviously the thickness of both of these devices, you can see that's the case, because obviously the MacBook Pro is definitely thicker than the iPad, and it has all those other bits like the keyboard and whatnot inside of it too. So obviously it's gonna be thicker. For performance wise, they are also slightly different. So obviously the iPad Pro does have the next generation M4 inside of it with eight gigabytes of RAM, whereas we still have the M3 inside of this MacBook Pro right here with eight gigabytes too. And having a look at a Geekbench score, you can see then obviously the M4 is out in front in single core performance and also in multi-core performance here. But like I said, this is the nine core base configuration. So I think straight away, and as a hands down moment here, we know that the iPad Pro definitely has the best screen and has the best performance and also has the best look. But for everything else, the MacBook Pro just trumps straight away. Now, throwing all these tech specs at you, like what other YouTubers do too, it can only mean one thing, that obviously the iPad Pro has got to be better. Well, I think, like I said, it depends on the user that you are. The iPad, for example, if I was a great illustrator with, say, the brand new, you know, Pencil Pro that we have right here, then yeah, this would be a fantastic device for me to do all my art on and do all my sort of illustrations and things like that if I was that kind of creative kind of mind. It's gonna be far easier doing it with, say, an Apple Pencil on one of these devices than using it, say, on a MacBook Pro if you're that way inclined with using kind of a pencil like this, for example, or you're just using it pencil and paper. A lot of people agree with that, but obviously there are the odd people who say that a MacBook Pro, but they prefer using it on that. But for the majority of people, more people prefer using this on this device, and it is absolutely amazing for that. But the cool thing is I can still browse the web on this device. I can also write up Word documents, check my meetings and my emails and all of that great stuff on a device just to go. I would say the iPad Pro is a great device as a primary device. I'm just gonna put my Apple Pencil there. 
But the only thing I would say is you are locked in to the Apple App Store. You cannot download kind of third party apps or anything like that. And everything that you get with the iPad is stuck. It is stuck the way it is. And if you're happy with that, that is absolutely fantastic. It's a great device for your needs. The MacBook Pro on the other hand, and a lot of you people think the same as Mac like me, it just gives us everything that we need. If I wanted to do research, I can open up multiple tabs and drop down notes in notes or, you know, in Word documents. I can edit videos and I can easily pull in my media from other devices and I don't need to have additional ports or accessories to make that work. I can spend so much time in front of this MacBook Pro and get so much work done with it. But the iPad Pro, I feel like it's a device where you just pick up and do what you need to do on it. I don't think it's a device that you feel like you spent hours upon it, unless you're going to be binge watching, say, Netflix or something like that. It's just a pick up a device, quickly check your emails, quickly joke, you know, jot down a note or anything like that. This is what the iPad Pro is like kind of primarily for, what any iPad is for right now. With the MacBook Pro though, I think one of the key things we have to remember who Apple is targeting this device for. It is a device, what is a pro device, and it's a full workhorse. And Apple in their presentation show this. Whereas with the iPad Pro, with Apple do their presentations for that, we always see some artwork being done or that it's far more quicker to do your artwork on an iPad or to illustrate things. And I think this is what Apple are trying to push. And especially like even the new sort of Final Cut Pro that we have now, the Apple are pushing that this device is quickly to grab your footage very quickly and you can fiddle around with it just on the go right there and then but then what you do is you finish off all your work on a MacBook Pro. This is the device that you sit down at and you do all your work on. And talk about the MacBook Pro, we actually have a giveaway happening on this channel giving away an M3 MacBook Pro what is happening at the end of June time. And this MacBook Pro is actually a little bit more powerful than this one right here. It's actually got 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, 512 gigabytes of storage. And like I said, it's got the normal M3 and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel at the end of June. And all you have to do to enter in is just be a subscriber on this channel and also put down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're planning to get in 2024. Put it down in the comments below right now. And also, if you want to know when that announcement's going to be for the actual live stream and the form that you're gonna to have to fill in as well for getting your hands possibly on this MacBook Pro, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also that notification bell because I'll be telling you when that's going to be happening soon in the future. But also guys, I just wanna quickly say, sadly there's still lots of scammers and spammers, people still personating me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, you know, part with your money for postage and all of this sort of thing. This is not me at all. Please do ignore them, or better still, as you can see right here, please do report them. So then guys, for the moment of truth, which one of these devices should you pick? Now I'm gonna say it's only for a small amount of people out there, the iPad Pro should be your primary device out there. And to be honest, the majority of people, what Apple also recommend, that if you are a pro person, that you should probably own both. But there again, that is a really expensive setup. And you know, to pay out for both of these devices is gonna cost you a lot of money. The cheaper solution is to get yourself, say, one of these. This here is an iPad 10th generation. And this is the thing, everything what this iPad can do right here can be done on this iPad right here too. It's got the same operating system. Okay, you can't use the Pro Pencil, but you can use the normal new USB-C pencil, which just come out at the end of last year, 2023. And that works absolutely fantastic on this device too. So if you are a person who just wants to do the odd bit of artist work and things like this, I would be personally buying yourself, say, a MacBook Pro, and then buying yourself one of these two. Because all those Pro apps that we've seen advertised at Apple Apple sort of presentations, things like this, they all work on this iPad too. There's no problems with that. There's no kind of exclusivity that will only work on an iPad Pro. So with that, I think the conclusion is here. Like I said, buy this if you really, really need it. If not, get yourself the MacBook Pro. It is hands down 
definitely the true winner here that you got to get this one and i would say get yourself probably a more basic ipad with it too and with that guys what are your thoughts on this which device would you pick out of both of these let me know in the comments below and also it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye